two top 10 teams. They're undefeated. One something's got to give. Um, and I think this game is very close. Um, so like to talk about some of the hype around it, we have college game day, Big, Fox Big Noon kickoff, and Barstool are all heading up to East Lansing. Like we are going to be packed with pregame coverage for this game. It's going to be it's going to be kind of insane. Like let's be real, it's going to be. Um, I mean, it's just going to be it's going to be huge. Um, it's going to be the probably biggest game of the weekend. Um, ESPN's probably pissed because they picked OSU. Penn State for the four three thirty slot, um, and that game ended up becoming a dud due to the fact that Penn State has James Franklin as a head coach. We'll talk about him in a bit, but <clears throat> this game has all the hype and it de- deservingly so. I think as Michigan sports fans, we haven't had to ha- get something like this in a while, and I think that you know to finally have something exciting and fun for us in the sports world again. Um, is a well-needed thing for people, sports fans in the Michigan area, specifically in the Metro Detroit region. So, let's, uh, Brad, let's dive into it. Um, I'll tell you, here's my what Michigan's going to do well, and here's my concerns. Right? Here's what they're going to do well. They have a great offensive line, um, and that offensive line is going to be the reason they can probably maintain the run game longer than Michigan State. Um, I'll talk about Michigan State's all line in a minute, but right now, like, their offensive line is good. It is probably, that like, the running backs are great, but the offensive line is probably what makes them, like, so d- in powerful uh, as, a, a, like, a, in their run game. So that is probably their best position group going into the game. They also have a very strong D-line, Aiden Hutchinson. He's going to be a first-round pick, probably in the top 10. Um, He's been great. Um, He's got the measurables. He's got the stats to back it up. Um, He's got some really nice uh, other edge rushers and linebackers as a supporting cast for him. Um, It's a good D-line that's going to give the um, Spartan offensive line some issues. Now, that's... And then obviously, you know, our running backs, Corum and uh, Hassan Haskins, very good running backs. Um, no one is questioning that. Now, here's the, here's my two biggest concerns, right? We got Cade McNamara as our quarterback. Cade is the definition of a game manager, right? He is a guy who he's going to make the safe play. He's going to... He's going to do things, you know, he's not going to throw a lot of interceptions, but when you need him to make a big play, to hit a long pass, he has struggled to do that. He has not been good with the deep ball. He has not been good with, um, you know, hitting those receivers on a deep seam. Like, and these are things where if Michigan State takes away your run game, which is very possible that they do, you know, and you have to fall back on him, that's not good. Like I think worst case scenario for Michigan is if Michigan State jumps out to an early lead, you know, let's say they're up by a possession maybe two going into either the halftime or even even middle of the second quarter and they need to start, you know, taking the top off the defense and throwing the ball downfield, I think Michigan will be in some serious trouble there. The one thing I wanted to mention though about an offense, big big pro for Michigan State here is Peyton Thorne and Kenneth Walker. Now, a lot of people, I, I remember I was I was listening to this one podcast today, um, uh, and they were asking, uh, like, if, do, like, does Kenneth Walker need, like, a certain yards per, like, rushing yards to for Michigan State to have a good chance to win? Um, and I don't think that no. that, I don't think that that's true. No, I, but I agree. I don't think they. Yards, yards per carry is important. I here. agree there. Um, I think I like the, if he runs if he rushes for 26 yards for or 26 carries for like 138 yards like it, sometimes you need to do the basics right like Kenneth Walker's been very flashy um but I I need to see Michigan State I think do some of those basics correctly I mean let's be honest right. like and and this is not to say Michigan hasn't but Michigan State has had some scary games against Indiana and Nebraska like 
Uh, there are Spartan fans I know who said they probably should have lost to Nebraska, but they, they found a way to win, and that's, you know, a win's a win at the end of the day. But, like, some of that was from just bad play, bad uh, running, you know, bad just basics. So, like, My I think – My biggest concern for Michigan State is that they haven't played a full game. They have not played a, a good full game. I could yeah, argue which, Michigan. Well, I guess they played a full game against against Wisconsin. That was pretty close to a as a full game performance as you could probably get. But like for a team that's seven and zero, that's kind of crazy. Like yeah. I don't think that, and, and this is you know whatever. But I don't think that Michigan or Michigan State are top ten teams. And I know that again, like obviously See, rankings are, are rankings, and they're seven and zero. But like. Well, you, are you saying like so by the end of the year you don't think either one will be in the top like, ten? I I don't think that overall these are two top ten teams. I just don't, I don't, like, I don't I know mean, if it's I could hard name to grade them. I don't know if I could name ten teams better than each of like than both of I, them. I mean I guess I guess because I know we'll get into like our Big Ten like power rankings and stuff and obviously it's hard to not put like Michigan and Michigan State second and third just because they've shown to be. Better than Iowa, better than Minnesota, better than Wisconsin, better than Purdue, better mm-hmm. than like all these other schools in the Big Ten because the Big Ten has shown that they aren't that great this year. Even yep. though the Big Ten commissioners out here are like we are the one of the best conferences in football, like show it then. But um, my biggest, my that's my biggest concern for Michigan State though is that they haven't played a full game, but. I will say that their their um, their offense specifically is their biggest weapon in this game, uh, and I'm specifically talking about Peyton Thorne. So there is one there is one thing that I that I was uh, I, I noticed um, specifically in an interview that Peyton Thorne um, had done, and what what this was is what it was after he'd thrown an interception in the red zone mm-hmm. against Indiana, and the person uh, was ma- drawing some conclusions after asking him questions about, um, is I think Graham Couch he does uh, stuff for the Lansing State Journal, um, but he was talking about how when you talk to Peyton Thorne, like there's a sense of like this guy knows about football, right? Like he understands. Like I, I mean, the, if you he's watch got the him, football his, IQ. His pre-snap is one of the best in the game. Like he just knows where to where to put people, what what's going on. Like his he just knows what to do. Um, and obviously, it's the execution that you know that that really that matters, right? He threw an interception against Indiana, and he had like some sort of like if you just talk to him like he had a sense of like what he did wrong who he should have thrown it to like what like he broke the play down like this is what happened this is what like I should have done better and not a lot of college quarterbacks can do that like that you know that is like NFL play like he would like I think that he is already on the level of like starting backup or not not starting I'm sorry starting a backup that's an oxymoron um, I think that he's already like backup NFL quarterback material. I think that like he'll only get better. Like obviously he's he's just a sophomore, mm-hmm. but I feel like he has the potential to raise his ceiling and be a starting QB in the in the NFL. Like I mean, I'm not talking like great QB, but like he has like to be given a chance. I think that that's where his where his play is right now, and I think that he's specifically a threat for Michigan State because. Um, of Kenneth Walker the third because not only does is Peyton Thorne like smart, but Peyton Thorne has one of the best uh running backs in the. I mean, obviously, you know, most rushing yards in the country. Kenneth Walker the third, right? So, so once Peyton Thorne's play and his I think impressiveness so far sort of feeds off of that play action because mm-hmm. Michigan's going to be covering the run and if they can get the run like if, if they're getting like three four five yards per carry like that is that is going to be dangerous because then they can open up the passing game and that's when the flea flicker comes in which they have like the most like touchdowns off of the flea flicker this year. Oh, we're gonna see some. Weird we're gonna stat. see like under over, like up uh, two and a half trick plays from each team. Like I think there might Michigan State themselves might do three. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I honestly like I was thinking about it. I would not be surprised if this game is scoreless in the fourth quarter. And that sounds like really, really radical to say, 
but I, I mean i i would not be surprised like i have on my on here right now i have my score prediction as 14 10 michigan state um i think that this game could easily be like seven to three or six to three. See, or, here's I mean, the thing. that would not be a good game. Like, but I think it's going to be low scoring because both teams are going to be very committed to running the football. Right. But, like, I actually want to check the weather in East Lansing too. Um, it's supposed to be. It's. A, I think it's supposed to be nice. Saturday, there is low chances. Oh yeah, by the time the game starts, very low chances of rain. Fifties, a little cloudy, but nothing. You know, it shouldn't affect play, you know, like rain typically right. causes the football to be uh, football to be ran, uh, ran a lot more as well. 